Hello and welcome to today's session. So today we are going to discuss on uh, the MOSFETs. In the last lecture we have seen uh, the P-channel JFET, its working and construction diagram. So we have missed a few things in the last lecture that is the symbolic representation of uh, the um, JFETs. So symbolic representation of JFET is similar to the symbolic representation of uh, the transistor. So it looks like this. So this is your source, drain and gate. So now there is uh, to indicate uh, the difference between the N channel JFET and P channel JFET there is an arrow mark which represents. So if the arrow mark is towards the uh, JFET then it is N channel JFET. So let me write here. So this is your N channel JFET and the P channel JFET symbolic representation is it looks like this. is this this is your gate source and this is your drain so here the arrow mark is pointing outward so this represents the p channel jft so this is what i want to highlight uh, before we jump into mosfet so this is your p channel jft okay fine now we will look into what is metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors let me write here so mosfet stands for metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor So why do we need to study these uh, MOSFETs when we have the JFET? So one problem or the drawback of uh, the JFET is there is a leakage current in the JFET. So that uh, let us see the diagram of JFET. Then I'll uh, explain to you. So if you take this as JFET, so let me take this here. So this is our N channel JFET, uh, this is, uh, it means the base substrate is of N type, on that we have diffused the two P type materials, so here, this is our source, this is drain and this is gate. So now the problem with this JFET is that we have connected the uh, negative potential here. So because of this negative potential, we know that uh, when P and N type material are brought together, there is a formation of depletion region. Since this metallic lead is directly connected to P type, though it is in a reverse bias condition, there is a small flow of current. So that current is due to minority carriers. So that is the leakage current. So basically there should not be, ideally, there should not be any flow of current from the gate. So this we have to control it or this we have to eliminate. So this we can do it with the construction of MOSFETs or the other type of MOSFET. So now let us see the construction of the MOSFET and how do we avoid this leakage current with the help of MOSFET. So MOSFET is, we require a base material here. So that is a So before jumping into the construction, let me discuss you about the types of MOSFETs. 
So MOSFETs, there are two types. One is a depletion type MOSFET and enhancement type MOSFET. So what is the major difference that uh, we'll talk about this later? So just understand there are two categories of MOSFET, depletion type and enhancement type. And again in the enhancement type, and depletion type there are two types one is the n channel depletion type mosfet and p channel depletion type mosfet likewise in enhancement type there is again two types that is n channel uh, in channel enhancement type and p channel enhancement type mosfet so now what is the difference between these two is that so in depletion type mosfet during the construction of mosfet the channel is formed Whereas in enhancement type MOSFET, during construction, the channel does not form. The channel is formed only during the working of the MOSFET. So this is the basic difference between depletion type and enhancement type MOSFET. So now come back to our construction diagram. So just complete this. So we have taken a P-type substrate. So this is the side view. It is uh, not the top view. So you can see this as a side view. So this is a P-type substrate or the base. On P-type substrate, we are going to diffuse the N-type material on two sides. Okay, so let me give different coloring for this. So this represents the n-type material here. This is n-type material. This is n-type material. And during the construction of this MOSFET, the channel is formed. So a channel is formed here. So this channel is formed. So this is again is of n-type material. So after this n-type region is diffused on P substrate, on top of it, This color on top of it a insulating material is coated so that insulating material is nothing but we call it as SiO2 silicon dioxide material so this silicon dioxide material let me etch this so basically this etching is nothing but so The silicon dioxide is formed. So after forming the silicon dioxide, I have to connect the metallic leads for the source and drain. So for that, I have to etch it. Etching is nothing but I'll remove this portion. I'll remove this opening of this coating by a process of uh, called etching process. There is a two types of etching process. One is a dry etching and wet etching. So this we will uh, come to know when you study about the uh, fabrication process of ICs. So there are basically eight steps in the fabrication process of ICs. Um, that will, you have to study it. I am not going to discuss that now. So now on it, I am, then we will going to connect a metallic leads on it. Like this. So this, uh, let me fill with other material, okay. and likewise, one more metallic lead is connected to the gate. So this is the basic formation of the, now one thing is left out, that is the connection of the terminals. So here we have connected the metallic lead, so now this is your source. This is your gate and this is your drain. So now what happens? The current flows from source to drain. So basically it is a device which will control the flow of current. That's it. It is not going to produce the current or anything. It is basically the current enters from source and exit from the drain and gate will control how much amount of current has to flow from it with the help of voltage. So now as you can observe from this, the gate metallic lead or the gate terminal is not directly connected to channel. It is connected, it is isolated through SiO2 layer. So let me write this here. This is our SiO2 layer, silicon dioxide layer. So now, then how do it control? It controls this gate through the effect of electric field. So that we'll discuss later. So now, let me connect the potential for this. Let me connect a positive potential 
because this we are talking about the in channel so this is nothing but your VDS so what happens here is so there is a one more layer which is formed here so this is nothing but your depletion region because when we combine P and N type material definitely there is a formation of one junction that is that junction or the region we call it as a depletion region this depletion region is formed on the either side on the P side as well as on the N side now if I write the graph if I write the graph here so your X axis is nothing but your VDS and Y axis is the ID source to drain current so now with gate terminal open or with gate uh, voltage as zero we are not connected any gate voltage so we will consider the gate voltage as zero so now if I increase the VDS the source to drain voltage then current also increases it reaches to certain level and it becomes saturated why does it become saturated like JFET in JFET what happens the both P regions will get come in contact the depletion region will come in contact and that uh, we call it as a pinch off so likewise here also what happens when you increase this VDS so VDS here it is a positive it is a positive potential due to that positive potential what happens the width of the depletion region here it increases inside the N channel or in the N region so it becomes very narrow and that will restrict the flow of current and then the current will become constant so this is how it will control the flow of current so then next if we apply this negative gate voltage what will happen when we apply the negative gate voltage let me remove this now let us connect the negative gate voltage to this when we connect the negative gate voltage so what happens already due to this uh, electric field what happened this is a negative polarity and there is a positive polarity the width of the depletion region already increased so it has increased to a certain level now as you increase the VDS what happens the width of the depletion region becomes narrow and narrow and the current will get saturated for lesser and lesser value so like this so as you increase the VGS the current will get saturated for lesser and lesser values so this is for VGS is equal to 0 volts this is for VGS is equal to minus 1 volt and this is VGS is equal to minus 2 volts and so on it will continue so now if you see here let me remove this entire thing Fill it with R. Sorry, I think, uh, yeah, we have to fill it. Let me fill this. Okay, so now when we apply the negative voltage, what happened? We have seen the width of the channel is already reduced due to width of the depletion region increased, and thereby, as you increase the VDS it will become saturated the current will become saturated for lesser and lesser value and at some point what happens the transistor or the MOSFET does not conduct at all so now instead of connecting a negative voltage if we connect positive voltage what will happen let's see if we connect a positive voltage what happens so due to this positive voltage an electric field is exerted due to that electric field what happened the positive positive ripples and what happens the width of the channel get increased so now what happened the width of the channel is increased so as the width of the channel increase so now as you increase the VDS what happens the current will not saturate at this point where the current will not saturate at this point I'll take the black color so what happens here it will take higher value of VDS to saturate the current so what happens now current will go beyond this and get saturated so this is because of positive gate voltage so this is for VGS is equal to plus 1 volt so likewise as you increase so this mode we call it as enhancement mode and this whatever for the VGS is equal to 0 and below 0 this we call it as depletion mode 
do not get confused this with the enhancement type MOSFET and depletion type MOSFET. This is the mode of operation. So this is enhancement mode and this is depletion mode. So as you apply the positive gate voltage here, due to, the due to that an electric field is exerted here, so width of the channel gets increased. As the width of the channel gets increased, what happens? The saturation level also increase when you apply the VDS. So thereby there is a large flow of current gets saturated for higher and higher values. So this is the basic working of the N channel. This is what? This is N channel depletion type MOSFET. N channel depletion type MOSFET. So I'll show you quickly the construction of N channel depletion type MOSFET. So you can see the substrate is P and on that uh, there is a uh, two N type materials are diffused and this is a, a coating and insulated layer that is nothing but uh, silicon dioxide SiO2 layer and we have removed this portion to connect the metallic leads for source and drain. We have not removed this because we don't want a leakage current to come out. So that is why we connect the gate outside this. So this SiO2 layer separates the gate from the channel. It acts as an insulator. And this is a P-channel depletion type MOSFET where you see the base material is N-type and on which the two P-type materials are diffused on the either side that will act as a source and drain. So if you see the 3D diagram of this, it looks like this. So this is basically a P-channel uh, uh, MOSFET. Uh, sorry, this is of uh, JFET and not MOSFET. So you have understood the basic working of uh, this uh, MOSFETs, a depletion type MOSFET, N channel. So likewise, the P channel also works. So only thing is that the substrate will going to change and the polarities will going to change it. Okay then, thank you. Take care. We'll see you in the next session with the enhancement type MOSFET.